Solar flares are one of the most powerful and fascinating events that occur in our solar system. These eruptions of energy from the sun's surface can cause a range of effects on Earth, from stunning auroras to disruptions in satellite and communication systems. Solar flares are sudden eruptions of energy from the sun's surface, driven by the interaction of magnetic fields. These explosions release massive amounts of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. This includes RF or radio waves, gamma rays, X-rays, and ultraviolet light. They are often accompanied by a coronal mass injection, or CME. A CME is a massive cloud of charged particles that is ejected from the sun and travels through space. Solar flares are classified based on their X-ray brightness with categories ranging from A to X. A-class flares are the weakest, while X-class flares are the strongest. In 1859, a massive solar storm known as the Carrington event caused widespread disruption to telegraph systems around the world. If a similar event were to occur today, it could have a catastrophic impact on our technology-dependent society. Solar flares occur when magnetic energy that has built up in the sun's atmosphere is suddenly released. One common trigger for solar flares is the collision of magnetic fields in the sun's atmosphere. As these fields interact and become twisted, they can reach a point where they release their energy explosively, creating a flare. Another trigger is the emergence of magnetic fields from below the sun's surface. These new fields can disrupt the existing magnetic fields and cause them to release their energy in a flare. The frequency of solar flares follows an 11-year cycle known as the solar cycle. During periods of high solar activity, there are more flares and other solar events, while during periods of low activity, there are fewer. The release of this energy is accompanied by a massive explosion of plasma, a hot ionized gas that is made up of electrons and ions. This plasma is accelerated by the magnetic energy released in the flare and is propelled out into space. Solar flares can have a range of effects on Earth, from the awe-inspiring to potentially dangerous. One of the most beautiful effects of solar flares is the Aurora Borealis, Northern Lights, and the Aurora Australis, Southern Lights. These stunning displays of light occur when charged particles from the sun's flare interact with the Earth's magnetic field, causing the atmosphere to glow. Solar flares can disrupt the Earth's ionosphere, which can affect satellite and communication systems. This disruption can cause satellite signals to degrade or even be lost, affecting everything from GPS to television broadcasts. In extreme cases, solar flares can cause power grid disruptions. The energy released in a strong flare can induce electrical currents in power lines, potentially causing blackouts or equipment damage. While the Earth's atmosphere protects us from the worst of this radiation, astronauts and airline passengers at high altitudes can be exposed to increased radiation during a flare. Understanding and predicting solar flares is a complex and ongoing area of research. Scientists use a range of tools and techniques to study solar activity, including ground-based observatories, space-based telescopes, and computer simulations. One important tool for predicting solar flares is the Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, a NASA spacecraft that monitors the sun's activity in high resolution. The SDO can observe the sun's magnetic fields and other features that can give clues as to when a solar flare might occur.